Hello traders, Joseph here from ACAL. Welcome to today's update. We're just doing a run over of some of the uh, the top crypto coins that we offer, mainly from the uh, the top 10 coins. So we're going to uh, yeah, just have a look at them. Uh, obviously, we know last few days Bitcoin has been exploding and uh, we have seen a rally. You can see that rally here from um, you know 38 uh, all the way up to uh, 44 in today's session of being a little bit of a pullback at the moment after hitting new monthly and uh, yearly highs. Um, just so now I suppose the, the big question is when are we going to see this for this next pullback? So we haven't really had a decent pullback now since really in this area here. And um, yeah, we are now starting to wonder, are we close to seeing one? Not trying to uh, call one at the moment, um, just so it's clear that, you know, I have a, I, have, I hold physical as well. And um, so I just take a real, you know, big interest in this, like uh, anyone that also do trade the derivatives um, that we do offer. So I do a bit of both and, uh, you know, they both offer advantages and uh, for certain situations. So, yeah, without out of the way, um, yeah, I'm really just wondering when uh, and if we are going to see a bit of a pullback. Uh, we've seen a bit of mixed fortunes across different coins. Obviously, Bitcoin is really tearing it up at the moment. Then and um, Ethereum as well is quite similar. So we're seeing a very strong session today as well. Another 1.15% uh, higher. We're cl very close to testing uh, new weekly highs at this stage. But then we move down to BNB. Obviously, there's a few things affecting uh, Binance at the moment, and BNB uh, is you know, reflecting that in its price. Not too long ago, we did see that nice move back up to 270. But since then, we have seen a bit of a decline, and things are just sort of sitting around. This relates to some of the fines. Uh, also, uh, you know, the CEO stepping down, the new CEO coming in, uh, and that was due to uh, you know out of the US regulators so can't really criticize Binance too much uh, it's just sort of had a few issues uh, at the moment but obviously um, the exchange is continuing and um, it's you know it, it looks so far it does look okay and you know we should you should think that uh, you know confidence may return to the coin once again and we will start to see more moves again but with other coins as well so uh canando which is another one i follow quite closely it's having a really good week as well this week i really think now the next um if we just zoom out a bit we can still see that longer term range pattern that's in after you know we all remember that you know that strong decline all the way down so i think really the key for canando and a few others now is just getting out of these range patterns so that next big test for it is going to be this level here and that's at 45. So it's not too uh, far away from that level. Uh, we're just going to, you know, we have had a nice breakout here above um, 39. So if um, the momentum does continue on, the trend structure looks great. So then we'll just look to see if we can get a move back up to test that 45 area. And then, uh, you know, anything above up to these kind of areas starts to show a bit of a breakout of that long-term range. Now, um, uh, we've seen some pretty good moves on Bitcoin Cash this week. We had a very uh, strong session earlier in the week. We can see that here. Uh, you know, at one stage, it was pushing right into that 10% point. It's an interesting position. So after that initial uh, race up, like we saw, you know, it sort of reminds you a little bit of Ripple in some ways. We saw that pullback and then sort of just been flatlining inside that, uh, that, you know, that move. So it will be, I think for Bitcoin Cash, um, what we really need to see is a break above this area here at 254. That's sort of a pretty key resistance at this stage. And then we'll be looking to see uh, if it can get back up to test uh, some of those previous highs it made earlier, uh, you know, around middle of the year. And another one uh, we just want to touch on is, uh, before we just check out some of the others, is um, Litecoin. Now, um, Litecoin's had a pretty interesting year so far. It raced all the way back, back up to, uh, you know, 114, or, you know, around the middle of the year before we saw a very strong pullback. It did put in some support, so some fair bit of support in this area between uh, 59 down to uh, 57. Uh, it has had a step out break, which is quite nice. So the resistance here, it's broken out of that and then sort of stepped above it, holding above it. So that really key support there for Litecoin at the moment, 67. Um, I don't have any real like interest myself in Litecoin, but I do watch it a bit. I think it's a pretty cool coin, and uh, I think uh, like historically, uh, like with Bitcoin Cash, uh, it's been you know quite interesting. Cause, you know, after it got all the way up to you know four hundred dollars, and then we saw it had that retest at two eighty nine, and then it's sort of been 
sitting back down, just sort of uh, accumulating, so to speak, in sort of like a massive uh, stage one. So it will be interesting to see what the future is. And if we do, um, if there is some significant movements next year, like a few uh, people are calling there's going to, uh, potentially is going to be, it will be interesting to see if Litecoin does join in there if we break out of, of uh, that range here. So really this, uh, this area here. But I think for the first step, as we've just sort of noted, we really want to see a break and move back up to test and break uh, this level at 76. So uh, now um, another one that I do, uh, another couple I do follow quite closely and then we'll sort of wrap up this uh, crypto walk around is uh, Solana. So Solana's having a really nice day today. It's up 3.73%. Uh, we all know it's a beautiful uh, year it's been having since September. Um, I was unlucky enough to sort of be looking at, uh, thinking about you know, picking it up, but I didn't. And then that happened, um, you know, so yeah rather painful stuff but what can you do apart from um yeah just wait for the next opportunity and um at the moment but with solana it's sort of in a bit of a holding pattern at the moment maybe a consolidation so it hasn't really got back up to test that previous high just yet it has had a couple of attempts uh you know in the last um you know several days previously but um, the best we can we have seen 65 so i think as long as we see you know a hold above this area from uh, 52 up to sort of you know 54 i think we'll continue just to um chew up chew up a little bit and just uh you know sort of measure its measure its time before it tries to make another move and um yeah there's also another short-term support of 58.90 and then the resistance really at the moment is 63 um, point um, you know 30 and then there's further resistance up um, to uh, 65 40 and then obviously up to that previous high at 68 so yeah it's a it's an interesting one at the moment it is trying um, but yeah it does continue to stumble every time really at the moment it does get above that 62 point another one that's having a great day today is um Ava, Ava's yeah really tearing it up at the moment. It's not over nine percent higher. We can see new weekly and monthly and uh, yearly highs at this stage in the day. Now it's looking rather healthy. Um, it's really got this next high really left to go. Uh, that's at twenty nine point ninety eight. We see a break above that high. It's sort of you know then really broken out of this accumulation area here. You can even call it a. Um, you can see the angles here, and. Um, just draw that one in as well we can see that so you could even a lot of people could even be calling that a firm breakout at the moment i would like to see that that, that point beaten here uh, once that point is beaten then it's sort of breaking out of uh, that really long uh, accumulation phase that we have seen set in since that drop uh, back to those lows back in uh, 2022 so we'll continue to see about you know trend pattern wise it looks fantastic at the moment it does look like it's doing what you do want to see so we've had that initial run up we've had a pullback a nice higher low and then the breakout and the higher high so in terms of trend structure that's really what you're looking for and uh, we'll continue to see if it can keep going so on the weekly chart we do have a bit of a data issue on the weekly chart that will be rectified we can see a sim that similar pattern so it's had that breakout consolidation and then the new uh, higher highs and breaking above this um, resistance as well so yeah some good signs there we just really need to see that new test and break of uh, that resistance area that we did uh, discuss and finally we're going to have a look at uh, ripple uh, oh no sorry we'll check out dot first so dot's also doing some you know looking quite good as well on um, the daily chart so we've got a break of uh, this resistance here i think it has a nice high or low very similar to uh, Ava, it's had that pullback, higher low, the new break with higher highs. And then we're just gonna look to see if we can get back up to test that 6.03. And then obviously the next one will be uh, back up to test that, you know, 6.91 kind of area. And um, again, it still remains in this kind of ranging accumulation type pattern. That's the top it needs to break, but that's a fair way away, uh, you know, comparing to something like Ava. And we can see that's at 9.78. So um, continue to see if this trend can just continue to grind to move along and uh, continue to make lower highs and higher highs and just continue to push up and uh, you know meet and break its next resistance points as it goes. So finally, uh, just to wrap this up, um, is Ripple. So Ripple obviously has a bit of a fan base. Uh, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, it's on you know the ongoing uh, case with Ripple Labs against uh, the SEC. Uh, we've had a few updates this year. They've been you know interesting sort of leaning towards uh, in favor of Ripple Labs and how we have seen that reflected in price earlier in the year when we saw that you know that massive move all the way back up to uh 
0.92. We haven't been up there again. Uh, we had this, you know, that really big decline. So it sort of it was a bit weird. It sort of like a, it re, you know, re, reversed back to like a median average, which was a bit, it was a bit of a worry to a degree, but we did see that nice rally recently. And um, it still remains on this nice trend. So we can see that trend here. And then there's a further little fast trend sort of moving up from here. So it is grinding. Um, if we just zoom out a bit, we can see it is making higher highs and um, higher lows, which is nice to see. But we wouldn't, wouldn't say that the trend angle is uh, the strongest. But for now, the pattern does look okay. Uh, there's a bit of a lower high here, which is um, something to take note of as well. Uh, but we'll have to see uh, if it does continue to make higher highs, which it is. So that does offset that to a touch. So I think really here from Ripple, it just it continues to look a little bit confused in terms of uh, you know value a value point um, from um, traders at this stage. So we do have a fair bit of short term support down here. That's at that 0 0.58. Then we have a bit of resistance really from us uh, 0 0.62 up to you know all the way up really to us uh, you know 0.63. Three, eight. Uh, and then we, yeah obviously we have these highs up here so it doesn't look the most convincing at the moment to be honest with you it's, uh, if you've ever looked at L Brooks it does have a bit of a barbed wire pattern about it with a lot of indecision and uh, a lot of battling going on between both sides so even if we did see a quick test down that wouldn't surprise me at all at the moment because uh, I think the market is looking for a bit more uh, of substance to really get going. But yeah, if we can see a hold above this support and we can see some good bull bars come in, well then we'd look, try and see if we could see if we could get 67 retested again. But until then, uh, we really, uh, really would, yeah, would be uh, just giving uh, XRP a little bit of time to sort of work itself out and just hopefully it can hold above that support. If we had a break of that support, that could be uh, a touch of a worry, uh, but we'll just see if it can continue to stay in this range and um, then, yeah, if it can find some um, upper momentum, if we can get a new test up to test, you know, that some of these areas around here at uh, 67 so that's some of uh, my thoughts and this is some of the things i'm watching obviously the big stars uh you know solana was you know a previous star it's still it's still there um but definitely uh Ava at the moment is really tearing it up at this stage today um ada as well tearing it up um and then obviously the you know the big dogs of the industry uh and in the coin world bitcoin absolutely tearing it up and then uh you know ethereum as well as tearing it up so obviously these are just the top coins there are going to be a lot of other coins that are doing exceptionally well uh obviously i don't have the time to run over all of them and um yeah definitely check out there's a few uh, sites out there that you know show you the top top percentage movers if it's something you are interested in having a look at yeah they're out there uh, there's plenty of coins making massive moves i try and stick to the top 10 just in terms of liquidity uh, and just yeah just keep things simple without you know overloading yourself as well too much information but yeah so this is some of the thoughts and some of the things that are going on um, thank you very much for sticking around it has turned into a bit of a longer video and um, yeah, if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to uh, point out or uh, if you think we missed anything, let us know. And, or just share, your, feel free to share your thoughts about what, what you think uh, it could be next for Bitcoin um, and Ethereum in terms of short-term price movements. And if you think there could be a pullback or we're not going to see one. And where you may think uh, all these markets might be at the end of the year, do you think we're going to see Bitcoin back at uh, 60,000? you know in um you know the next uh, couple of uh, quarters to come or do you think it's going to take a bit longer maybe well into next year before we see 60 ret retaken so yeah feel free and um yeah enjoy the rest of your day thank you again for your time and uh, all the best of your trading and bye for now